What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And we're back, back like, like we, we never left. left. Back in the building, about to jump back into Dexter. Uh, I feel like me and you, it's like we got two opposing <laughs> different views on Dexter. And, and as far as who we think Dexter is, yeah. I feel like Dexter is a good Samaritan. I think that he's a great humanitarian. <laughs> <laughs> that you got everybody thinking but BJ he, he, he's is part crazy okay Dexter is an environmentalist he <laughs> likes to take out the trash he likes to make sure that all, all the recycle everything is recycled like all he's about not, waste management right all about waste management at the end of the day yeah but yeah the last couple of episodes was like an eye opener for yeah. me like a big eye opener. So I, I don't know where we about to go next yeah as far as like this whole investigation as far as the ice truck killer Dexter almost got caught. Yeah. You know, this was like the first time that it was like an icebreaker. It was just like, oh, yeah. just like, you know, just like a little chink in your armor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Like, a, almost, like a yeah, little right. chink in the armor. You're absolutely Cause, right. Because up until this point, he was doing everything perfect. Yeah. So that's kind of yeah. where we're at right now. I can't wait to see what's about to happen next with Dexter. We've been reading a lot of you guys' comments, a lot of you guys' feedback. We haven't seen no spoilers or anything. Yeah, no. So, hey. Hey, I'm good to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all. So there you have it. BJ said it. So <laughs> what are we getting into? Seven and eight today, right? Seven and eight. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think this next episode is Three. taking care of the environment. Is it? Okay. Is that what it was? No. Circle of friends. <laughs> okay, see. <laughs> He's for the environment. <laughs> I can't with you. I'm so gullible. Is it? <laughs> it is? Okay, y'all. So yeah, make sure y'all... Like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into Patreon. Check out all the unedited, uncut, behind-the-scenes footage, uh, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series as well. Yeah. You killing me with this environmental cleanup. Yeah, he's waste management. Really he ain't waste cannot. management. <laughs> like, real waste management. Take the garbage out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? Um... So, this is episode seven and eight. And I'm talking proper disposal. So, circle of friends. Circle of friends. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Let's you, kick this thing you off. Gotta, right. You got to keep your circle smaller than the period when it comes to friends. Right. Facts. Okay, y'all. Dang, it's 100 degrees outside. It's yeah. sunny. It's, it's a burning up. It's sunny. It's a keep your tail inside. Basically. Or you will fry. Right. Okay. Literally can fry an egg on the sidewalk right mm -hmm. now. All right, y'all. Here we go. And yeah. three and two and one and play. And did you get and then get two pieces of bread and put it on the sidewalk too? You had you some toast. Yeah. <laughs> I understand now. Jeremy didn't murder that boy four years ago. He was taking out the garbage. <laughs> there you go. The FBI estimates that there are less than fifty serial killers active in the United States today. But sometimes I wonder what it's like for the others. Wow, that's crazy. The only sound in the entire world. Oh, he orchestrated like the blood splatter. I'm about to say. Oh. <laughs> I swear to Christ, Morgan, after this case, I'm submitting your ass for psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> Skillful, no waste in motion. Killer had experience. Every stroke hit a major artery, or at least came close. You get a goddamn hard on there, Morgan. No, it's truly horrific. It was your book committee, you said? You know, I'm gonna report you for psychic evaluation. I've been chasing leads on the ice truck killer. Son of Sam got a parking ticket outside his own crime scene. Hmm. So you ran parking violations at the crime scenes of our guy. Smart. Try moving violations. Neil Perry, I know that name. Yeah, he came forward as a witness two weeks ago when pieces of Tony Tucci were showing up around town. Why would a voluntary witness be at two separate crime scenes? Holy mother of fuck, is this him? Look at him. You sure this is the right address? According to DMV, this is where Perry lives. Yeah, with his seven inbred cousins by the look of it. Now maybe... Look up. Slowly. I see you. Somebody watching like a hawk. Open up! Perry, police! Open up, Perry! Open the door! Hey, you I got him! Bam! Fuck. Yeah, he out of there. You think 
that's him? But they owning him, but I'm trying to figure out, like, owning him because of what? Because he was in it's, two of the crime right, scene right, areas. Right, I knew I recognized the knife work of the killer. That was the boy. I had him. He was mine until I found out the boy Jeremy killed raped him. He fucked me and I killed him. So I let Jeremy go. It seemed fair. But he might be out there killing innocent people now. Angel, you found Perry. You were on the task force. Contact the fugitive's friends, family, co-workers, coke dealer. Anybody who might try to hide him. Choose task force members who can put their regular duties aside and bust ass until Neil Perry's apprehended. They got to handle this one a little delicate. They don't want to strike out again. I saw him, Dex. I chased him. Hey, well, Morgan, get over here. You're on the team. Do you hear that? I'm on the team. <laughs> I won't be too enthused trying to chase a serial killer down. Yeah, no. Where's my blood report, Sparky? I'm on it, Sergeant. Sparky? <laughs> I got your Sparky. The guy, Neil, he looks a little weird. A little bit. Yeah, he does. But I wonder if Dexter recognizes him. Uh, your husband swung by a few minutes ago. He didn't tell you? They treat the old man coming down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Paul? You just picked up the kids. You gave my children to Paul. Are you stupid? Stupid is the stupid does. Cody and Esther are not to be released into his custody. Well, nobody told me. He just got out of fucking jail. So we're pressing charges on the school. <laughs> That's like a parent's worst nightmare. Right. Bag anything that could be used to murder or dispose of a human body. What is that hanging? He's a sick fuck. Uh, some might say that. <laughs> Look at that. I got a mummified chupacabra at home. Can I have permission to run Masuka's prince as an ice truck killer? No need for that. I'll give me some warm DNA right now. Oh my god, you're gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> School had no right to release my children to Paul. I, I should be out looking for my kids. Rita. The best thing you could do for the kids is stay here in case he tries to call. And what if he kidnapped them to get back at me for putting him in jail? Wow. <laughs> Hi. I got you. Master, did you know I called the police? Why? I told you I was taking them to the carnival. No, you didn't. I, I have custody. You can't just take them without my permission. Well, I came to see my babies. I missed them, Rita. Okay, but you can't do that. He said, well, amongst a lot of things. What? Wait, 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 wait. He said, I missed a lot of things. Back, wait, back cut all of that. Call off the dogs. Dexter, look. My dad's home. Yeah, I see that, buddy. I don't know somebody's eyes. I don't trust him. I know. Hey, Angel. You're the expert on manufactured living. This closet look a little small to you? A little. Uh-oh. Is, is this the treasure chest? Treasure trove. Treasure trove. Treasure trove. They hit a jackpot, maybe. Dismembered body found in a pool. Ice truck killer at Paul's Miami. This is a record of everything he's ever done. Did we just hit the mother load? No. We hit the motherfucking mother load. <laughs> you should track his credit cards. It's already done. Along with the ATMs and bank accounts. I also put a tap on his home phone. Damn. He can't go nowhere. I think for all the darkness that haunts him, Paul loves having a family. I always knew it was there. I guess I just didn't think I deserved better until I met you. I have a dark side, too. Oh. <laughs> what? I do. Somehow I doubt that. You have a good heart, Dexter. You're not like Paul. You don't hurt people. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I do. Innocent people. That's debatable, right? Thank you. <laughs> Innocent people. Nifty. He not laughing. He not. <laughs> <laughs> see how, see how he put that in there, just kind of see what she would think or what she would say. <laughs> you don't hurt people. No, I don't hurt people. But see, okay. innocent people. Right. What are you trying to say? What's the in between? It's me. Get your ass over to Neil Perry's place. You're gonna want to see this. Deb, it's my day off. Just get your ass over here. We're about to bust open the goods on the ice truck killer. Oh, we see what Dexter doing on his days off. He works on his days off, too. Yeah, right. It's a rat. Not the dog. Not 
Look at that. Deb, trust me. Neil Perry is not a killer. He's a dabbler. He's a waste of time. If the guy we're looking for took his early fantasies out on animals, he'd bury them, not display them. Then turn around. You were saying? Based on decomposition, she's been tits up for two, maybe three years. Mm. What happened to the limbs? Did they rot off? No. For weeks, I felt like a student in a master class. Is it really possible that the master's on the run? And even more tragic, does he live in a double wide? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let me get you guys up some fruit. Oh, no. Hello? Who wants donuts? I do. Right. Paul, you can't just walk in here whenever you want. You don't live here anymore. Sorry about that. Old habits. I'll ring the doorbell next time. You need to go. You definitely gotta go. All right, I'll just put them in uh, something. Oh, Throw them in the trash. Remember I told you he was my suspect. You can't do this anymore, Paul. What? What? Help raise my kids? Yes, I can. That's my job. Why he look like Dexter's older cousin? That's what I'm saying. He look like a bootleg Dexter. You were thinking that too. Yes. <laughs> From the first time he walked through the door. I really need him to get out. This is crazy. He literally is just invading her space. Roberta Perry. Dental records say she was the one under the patio. Now, Neil kept her death quiet by cashing her social security checks for the last two years, but wow. he did not kill her for the money. <laughs> did it for sport. The first time I saw his work, I felt like a Spanish explorer landing on the shores of a new world. No blood in the victims, no spatter, no stain. It's crazy, no blood. It's okay, hell, I've made mistakes. In fact, I'm about to correct a big one right now. Jeremy Downs. Hey, you want company? Just keep walking and looking ahead. What's wrong? Oh! Oh! Shit, shit! Get the fuck out of my way! Oh, you gotta get out of there! Hands behind your back. Stand up! Stand up! Dokes literally ran past him and ran him over. He don't know that it, that's Dexter, though. And didn't though. even recognize him at all. See, you see how you see what that's Dexter getting a little sloppy. What's your name? La Lina Consuela de Sanguia Cuomo. <laughs> what? What, girl? She's your being with it. <laughs> All I heard was Cuomo. Have you seen this man? He's a regular. Rents a room by the month. Cash. He's here now. They brought a girl to his room this morning. Call for backup. Let's hope this girl is still alive. <laughs> Damn. Please, get me out. Please, I want to get out. So where was he going? The liquor store. He said he's coming right back. Let's leave her. Right. Leave her here. She's still bait right now. You said the killer had previous experience. He did. Your instincts were dead on. They're always dead on when it comes to killers. Why is that? I'll just go get that report. What kind of question I'm is watching that? you. Uh-oh. He's like, I'm watching you. And those don't know... He don't know the half. He don't know how close he actually came. He actually bumped into him. Miss me? Police, on the ground, get down slowly. Shadows of the evening. Face down, let's go. Begin to peep. Soon we'll be asleep. What else do you want to put in the concoction? Gummy bears. How do you two plan to eat that? Spread it on toast? It already has toast in it. Ew. So it does. What? Did you used to do that? Do what? Just mix a bunch of stuff together to no. see what... You didn't do that? No. I did. <laughs> Dexter, right? Paul, hi. Hey. Uh, Rita's not here. Oh, that's okay. I'm actually here for the kids. Uh, this is awkward. I'm afraid I'm not comfortable letting you inside the house without Rita here. You're fucking my wife. I'll let Rita know you stopped by. Or I could just walk in. I should probably just call the police, let them sort this out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? He ain't even flinch. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. He might be a crack-addled wife abusing Yahoo, but he refuses to abandon his kids. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Not if you gotta keep on coming in contact with that guy. He so he's still your suspect? The baby daddy? Ex-husband still he's still a suspect? Yeah. Dad, what am I gonna do? I'd start by getting a divorce. Mm. 
I just wish she'd go away. And why can't he just go away and disappear forever? <laughs> go tell Dexter. To he that. can do that. <laughs> he leaves him out. Very easily. <laughs> I can help him. I can help him disappear. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh oh. I thought that was. Was what? I thought that was Dexter sitting there rolling up a, a joint. No more surprise visits to the house. No more intimidating my friends, and especially, no more Disney Dad. Divorce papers. And the ones you refuse to sign in prison, sign them now, and I'll agree to supervised visits twice a week. I'm in control now, and I have the power to make sure you never see your children again unless you do exactly as mm. I tell you. Uh-oh, that was the wrong thing. I do. My ass is yours to kick. I deserve it. Here, look, I am a changed man, and I swear to God, I am going to prove it to you. Where's Perry's lawyer? He waved the right. I, I can't hear a thing. Who's got the remote? You got him in the confessional. There they are, my two colleagues. Is it him, though? Thankfully, one of them's a fraud. It's merely a fiction that's added to the deed. The deed. The deed is everything. At least I hope he's a fraud. Oh, no. I don't know. Can you uh, help me out here, Rudy? Woo! Why not ask him if that's him? Ask that guy about the other guy. I think they will eventually. So you made that hand and foot? Mm. You did a good thing. Before I turned to prosthetics, I uh, studied the human form at the University of Paris Sorbonne. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Have you had dinner yet? I would love to. <laughs> they read each other's mind. I'm guessing that's why you didn't request a lawyer. So you can sit here and say whatever shit comes into your head. Meanwhile, my ass is spitting like cheese whiz waiting for you to figure out this isn't the fun part. They need to get some real interrogators in there. Fun part was hanging them like cattle. Hanging who? The hookers. Right before I cut their throats. Son of a bitch. I used gravity roots to hang them upside down to drain the blood. Then dip them in liquid nitrogen to freeze the blood before I cut them into nice, clean... Ooh. And there it is. All the expectations I had, all the promises of greatness wiped out. My circle of friends is down to one. Mm. I think Dex is not convinced that it's him. I mean, why would he be sitting in there? Like the ice truck killer? I don't think it's him. What are you doing? Are you a cop? The cameras are off. I have one minute. Tell me why. I need to know. Why what? You killed again. Why did you do it? To feel something different. What do you normally feel? Crazy. Nothing. Does killing make it better? No, worse. Mm. I'm a lot like you, you know? Yeah, right. You're a killer. I'm empty. You Jeremy Downs' lawyer? Yes, I am. I'm just heading over to see him. Sooner would be better. Like right? Like right now? You have a brother? Yeah, Dexter. He and my dad were really tight. You know, they're always spending time together. I guess I was jealous. I think that's why I became a cop. That's what he was. What about you? How'd you become Captain Hook? <laughs> well, when I was little, my mom got in a car accident and she lost both her legs. Mm. I just wanted to put her back together. You know, like Humpty Dumpty. Just the pieces weren't around. <laughs> the pieces weren't around. I don't know. He seems too dreamy. <laughs> I have no idea. It's always the dang dreamy ones. Cause I don't, I don't think it's the guy Neil. I don't it know. Can't, I, I don't know. It just can't be. He'll see a killer, but not the ice truck killer. Sure, there's Rita and the kids, but they don't know the real me. And now the father is back. You think it's that guy? I don't know. It's something weird about it, right? Just about that little conversation. What? Like what he's saying? Mm-hmm. Wow. See. I feel the need to connect with someone. His friends, circle of friends. Saw myself in Jeremy, but instead of helping him like Harry helped me, I gave him a piece of fortune cookie advice that he never even heard. He deserves it better, and he'll get it from now on. Oh! He used a chair. Oh no. Jeremy did hear my advice. He killed someone who deserved to die. Damn. We need to make an official comment. Don't worry, I'll keep it short. 
I'm just heading downstairs now for the press conference. Press conference is over. Oh, and uh, don't worry. I kept it short. You oh. gotta be fucking kidding me. It's... That was my bust. This is my department. Did you at least give me credit? Yes, I just gave it to you. Oh. <laughs> That's dirty. Wow. I, I guess some things never change. How long you need with the prisoner? As long as I can get. How did he discover my secrets? What was his message to me? Come on. Bring him on in. He knows me. Now I need to know him. Hi. The fuck are you? Oh. Uh, uh. It's not him! <laughs> <laughs> and that's laughing about it like so it's not him that's kind of how i'm feeling i'm feeling like i'm, I'm kind of torn between the two because one he lives in 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 this trailer park or in this trailer home and i'm just like how does he have like they haven't found anything that shows that he has access to be able to like drain people's blood out and to have like a a, a, a truck with a freezer to, you know but it, why would he talk about any of that if if like you know I mean I think I, I think they I think they caught somebody that's a serial killer that's killing women but not, not the ice truck killer no he's doing something else he's just straight killing women and you know yeah well cause he started talking about how he drained mom. them and <laughs> hooking them up to the whatever it was no he didn't he, say nothing about draining them yes, yes he did he did yeah okay he said, "I will." He said, "Because I hate blood." While he was sitting there talking to him. Oh, that's right. Or talk, talking, talking, talking to, to her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he was just talking. I don't. I don't know. So maybe they caught somebody that, like you said, that's killing somebody, but that's not actually another him. serial killer. That yeah. can't be him because the first thing that comes out of his mouth, if Dexter's sitting there, is, "Who are you?" Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's obviously, if he knew, he would sit there and play the game with him and would, be like... Yeah, he would keep playing the game, kind of like this mental gymnastics type of thing. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. And, yeah, it just it just can't be it can't be him. And then at the end, Dexter smiled because this this whole episode was about, like, circle of friends. Like, him feeling like, like Jeremy was, like, somewhat of a friend. Yeah. And then the ice truck killer. So, he's like, in the end, he's feeling, like, all alone, like, there's nobody left. Right. And so I'm feeling like the reason why he, he smiled like this because he's like, he knows the ice truck killer is still out there. So he still has one proverbial type of friend that's still out there that knows about what they do. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm Yeah. So, yeah, they, they close. <sighs> they close. They they got okay. somebody, but it's the wrong, it's the wrong serial killer. So now be. I'm, I'm, I'm changing my, my no, no, suspect. No, 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 you no. Keep your suspect. No, <laughs> no I'm you can't changing change my it yet. suspect from you the baby daddy. To the doctor. To the doctor. No, no, no. That, that, that's my suspect. Is that your, now that's your suspect now? The only reason why I said, the only reason why I said that is because he was like, I, it was just something about him when he was at the hospital. I know. Like early on. All right. And and then him being like the doctor Satucci, and not not only that, but then it was like he was the guy that made these parts, and he was the expert at, expert at you know making limbs and making hands, and it's also what he's cutting. You know what I mean? I kind like, I kind of just kept it on the back burner because we talked about it earlier. I was like. The serial killer has to either be like the guy that works at, at, at the meat market, yeah, or he's a surgeon. But that's what I said too. Yeah. I was like, it has to be somebody that is very that knows and how has to, access to yeah all of those things that you have at a hospital that would ha that would be able that knows how to surgically do all yeah. of those things. Now like, I'm not now I'm not jumping out the window. I'm not going to just jump out the window and say I'm sold on a doctor and that's just my suspect suspect. But he's suspect he's, with. With how he, you know, what he said <laughs> with 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 Deb and everything, he just 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 a little weird, little, okay. you know. Now he's back. He he's definitely on my radar. <laughs> okay, but, but yeah, yeah, he's on the like, radar. He's on I the radar. feel like I kind of picked up on him like early on. Just when just by those little him. small glimpses of him being on. Um, there. it just seemed like it was just something weird about him that. Yeah. You know, I don't know, and I don't know how Tucci wouldn't have recognized him if that wasn't him. But for some reason, that that shadow of the person that took the picture of Dexter when he was right in front of Tucci when he found him, mm -hmm. 
I feel like I started looking at his hair. The silhouette? Yeah, the silhouette, the shadow that okay. you can see of the person taking a picture. I and you. I was like, I got you. Hmm. Well, I me, don't know. Well, me, <laughs> I, well, me I'm not going to go that far, but... Yeah, when it was at the hospital, and it was a couple, it was a couple of times where Deb had passed him, and she kind of like looked at him, and he like smiled at her, like just those little small interactions. I'm like, I wonder if the, I wonder if there, something else is gonna come of this doctor being here in the hospital. Like, is he gonna kind of come into the, come into the fray a little yeah. bit? And he's starting to come into the fray now. He's out with Deb and talking about all this stuff. So not to mention, he says his mom's <laughs> legs. Yeah. 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 She lost her legs in, in that an was, accident. That, yeah. That was a little, but, but, but and that, then he cut off. And, and if that's the case, he cut Tucci's legs off too. One maybe, but that could be the reason why he's the type of doctor that he, that he is helping with prosthetic legs and helping right. other people. But right. He's on the radar a little bit. He, he's I know all on I'm the saying. radar. That's all I'm saying. He's just yeah. on the radar a little bit. It was bit. just something about how he was just, I'm like, <laughs> You know what? He would fit perfectly in that in that in that pocket. And that's why I was like, I don't think it's Rita's baby dad or ex husband. I I was already thinking that, even though we hadn't seen him, I still was just like, I just kind of, I just kind of already had ruled him out because that would be too easy. Yeah, it would be too easy. But but like I said, I said before, I was like, it has to be somebody that is that knows how to do these cuts and would know specific things about things like about the male and about the human anatomy yeah taking bodies apart yeah, yeah exactly. blood and mm-hmm. not dripping blood and, and and that's why i'm saying that's why i don't feel like uh the person that they have in custody right now because he he they haven't found any evidence to show he has the capability of committing these type of murders yeah no no. At all? No. Okay. He, he crazy though. I, I, he he crazy. We're gonna go for that. We, we done seen what's in his little his little tin can home. He crazy. I'm definitely gonna agree with you on he that. He need to go to jail for life. I ain't, I ain't gonna say he don't need to go to jail. <laughs> <but hey. laughs> okay. Here we go. So this is a uh, shrink wrap episode eight. Yeah. You fucking my wife. I just wish he'd go away. <laughs> Your instincts were dead on. They're always dead on when it comes to killers. Why is that? I'm watching you. Because a killer knows a killer when they see one. Mm Mm-hmm. Shrink wrap. I'm thinking two circus clowns dancing. Yep. That looks like a lobster. See the claws? (laughs) Dude, look. (laughs) Why do blood stains always look like crustaceans to you? I like seafood. <laughs> yeah, not as hard as her. It does look like a suicide. I don't know, Angel. Most firearm suicides are committed by men. Women tend to slash their wrists, take pills, something more ladylike. Not in Miami. She was some kind of big time prosecutor. Whoa. Uh-oh. Getting hot and heavy. Morgan, what took you so long? Playing hide and salami with Mr. Prosthetics. I don't fucking tell. Since when? We go inside and kind of wet. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to hit her with that DNA line again. Oh, hey, Dex. Come on in. Uh, why, are you, why are you back? Ah, oh, she's stuck in traffic. Of course, I love the extra kid time, but, uh, court supervisor? Not so much. Hey, you know, I feel really bad about the last time I was here. I didn't mean to get all alpha male on you. <laughs> Mom, can Dad stay and put us to bed, please? I, I think that's why Dexter's here, sweetie. Uh, Dexter doesn't mind. Yay! Uh. All right, bed bugs. Let's leave these two alone. It's not like they need a chaperone. I, I need him, just, I need him to get out of my that's face. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> he he would be bothering me. <laughs> Blood spatter's inconclusive. All I can tell is she was shot at close range. I wish I had more for you. Mm, me too. Mm. <laughs> when did you talk to the DA? We had dinner last night. Mayor Allen took us out to celebrate Neil Perry's arrest. Hell of a good time. She should have been the one that, 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 that went on that little, that little date night. What if LaGuardia's right? What if the ice truck killer does disappear? Uh-uh. Not 
the keychain. On the keychain. I need a distraction. Nothing like some little Debbies and a worthy new adversary <laughs> to clear my head. Oatmeal cream pie. Ain't nothing like it. I tell you. Jokers go hard. All day long. <laughs> Even if they're a month old, they still taste good. Pilates instructor. Emmett Meridian. The three suicide sisters shared the same therapist. Dr. Emmett Meridian. Mm. Perhaps I should schedule a session with the good doctor and try out a little reverse psychology. Mm. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Hey, I expect the police to show up when I call. Right? Wait, that's the president. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's him. Have you ever been close to anybody? To pretty much nobody. My foster father. He's the only one who ever really knew me. What kind of stuff did you guys do together? Oh. You know, normal father-son stuff. <laughs> I stopped and up. Are you all right? I'm fine. Man. <laughs> nice ambush. That was the perfect point of attack. I can't believe I finally got you. I won. It's not supposed to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just Do you think I want to teach you these things? This is about survival, Dex. <laughs> I won. Normal father-son things? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Survival techniques? Wait. <laughs> survival tactics? Yeah. Mugging tactics? I haven't been able to match your prints against a portion of the lozenge wrap we found the abandoned hospital. Liquid nitrogen. I used it to freeze the body parts. It's extremely effective. But it burns like a bitch. Damn. You suggesting that I'm a liar? Discovering my bases, Neil. We both want the same thing. Ten minutes long with Angelina? To see you convicted. <laughs> What's in for me if I help you do your job? Well, you can go down as a pathetic loser who killed mom or the most heinous killer in Florida's history. I mean... I need to be memorialized. I want a reporter here to interview me, front page. You're not allowed to talk to the press before the trial. I'm sure you'll find a way. And the longer the ice truck killer maintains radio silence, the less control I have. Craigslist. It's desperate, I know. Dear Ken, I'm in pieces. Love, Barbie. So he doing that to try to reach out to see if he get a response or something? Uh-oh. Oh, that's... Is that dead? It is dead. I wonder if she brought the handcuffs. <laughs> I'm just saying. They might have came in handy. I love your body. I love your legs. You better run! Paul, you know you're not allowed on supervised visits. I know, big bad Paul needs a babysitter. And would it really be so terrible if we spent time with our kids together? I have a lunch date with Dexter. <sighs> Come on, it'll be fun. I wouldn't do it. Mm -mm. I, gu I guess I could call Dexter. It's official. I'm nominating you for Mom of the Year. I mean, he don't seem like, you know, he... Well, he can start by getting a haircut first. <laughs> Just a little shaggy. Looking like shaggy almost. Yeah. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Hey, Barbie, how'd you like to suck my cock? <laughs> a wolf in sheep's clothing. Is that how you feel, Sean? No, I wasn't talking about me. Who are you talking about? You. How are things with your girlfriend? She canceled lunch with me to be with her ex-husband. Ouch. Mm. Sounds like a lot of things are out of your control right now. No wonder you cut yourself off from your emotions. That way you never have to feel powerless. So then what should I do? Accept that certain things are out of your hands. Let go. I can't believe at two million sperm you were the fastest swimmer. What are you gonna do about it? I wanted to kill him, Dad. It must have been tough for you to walk away, son. I'm proud that you did that. Don't be. Because I still want to kill him. <laughs> I hope he didn't kill him. Dad, you think I'm a fraud and you're trying to prove it, but the truth is, you are the fraud. Oh, Neil, I'm really not gonna move your shit today. I found out how you got promoted. Uh oh. What'd she do? Partner, Stokes got the drop on a major Coke dealer, brought you along for the ride. How did you? When get... the perp bailed from a third story apartment, sent you to cover the stairs. 
just in case you got lucky. I deserve that promotion. Oh, sure you did. It was a big bust. Mm. <laughs> you gotta give it to him. He's pretty good. Who? Who gave? <clears throat> how he know that? I don't know. You see that camera in his office? Yeah. I can find proof that the death of at least three women under his care was not a coincidence. Don't you think he would know? know if what? that camera was on, that he would be there? Goodbye, Dexter. No, not necessarily. I need another prescription. I'm sorry, Vanessa, I can't do that. I can't do this on my own. I can't even get out of fucking bed. In many cultures, there's no stigma attached to take one's life. Suicide's respected. The truly courageous of heart, these guns. You took women who trusted you at their weakest possible moment. But rather than help them, you suggested they end it all. Mm -hmm. God, you even gave them permission to use a gun. You're a mean one, Mr. Shrink. Put him on your list, Dexter. I think I've had a breakthrough in therapy. <laughs> he had a breakthrough. I think he officially put the therapist on his list. I just, I wanted to see you. I felt bad about missing lunch to be with Paul and the kids. How'd it go? Really good and incredibly scary. Why is that scary? I like my new life. And I finally feel like I'm in control. I never felt that way with Paul. I do with you. I'm ready, Dexter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're ready for what? Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I cannot with you. She's ready to go all the way. It's all good. <sighs> go for it. Go for it, Dexter. I'm so sorry. I came over here because I thought something was wrong. But tonight's really not a good night. It's so late. Man. I saw the more reason to get back to work. No. It's so wrong you don't want to be right. Look what he doing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't. Look, look at you. Uh. I can't do it with Dex Dexter. <laughs> Bro. Bro, I like. <laughs> yeah, every time I sleep with a woman, she sees me for what I really am. Empty. I mean, I, I catch it. I get his fear now. I can't kill Meridian yet. I need another therapy session. Well, at least you don't have to kill him yet. But put him on the list. <laughs> uh oh, look. Back at the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I have a patient who lost both her legs in a car accident. Really brutal. Like your mom? Which is why I want to do something special for her. I want to give her a new smoking pair of legs. Yours. No. Let me just take a cast. No way. It'll no. take 20 minutes tops. I don't. Uh, no, please <laughs> stop being such a chick. Sit down. <laughs> All it on up. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Not grease. Oil it up and rub it down. Where the hell you been? With my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yep, we just fucked in his office. <laughs> and we're having dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you tell anyone about our bust? The one that got me promoted? Maria, we talked about this when it happened. It would fuck up your rep and make me look like a whiny bitch. It's bad for both of us. So then the only way to access that information would be to read the police report, right? I guess. We have to have our firewall checked. She was sitting on top of me, basically naked. I didn't know what to do. It's OK, Sean. How can I change that? Well, for starters, you accept the fact that we all have a big, bad wolf hiding inside of us. The darkness we don't want anyone else to see. Do you? <laughs> of course I do. Big, bad wolf. How do you deal with your wolf? Well, first of all, I accepted that it was there. Mm. Mm. The reason you avoid sexual intimacy is because you don't want to surrender control. Intimacy? Really letting go face to face? Personal intimacy. Nothing more difficult than that. I'd like to talk you through a deep relaxation technique. It might bring some things to the surface. Uh oh. I want you to count each breath, okay? In one and out two. I want you to think of a time when you felt completely and totally powerless. Leave me alone, Josh. <laughs> I told you to walk away. Lose control, become powerless, and it's over. I found the graves. 
No. Now I have to get out of here. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 Sean, come here. Sean! Sean. I don't think Dexter was was expecting to feel all of that. Yeah. Not, not with what he was going there to do. Wow. I'm gonna need you not to be knocking on my door like that. You okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. You said it right. Uh-oh. Stay. Stay with me. Man, Dexter ran through that finish line, didn't he? Something in that therapy session made him go back. It made him feel a little different. Yeah. A little soreness is, is normal. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not used to using those muscles all the time. Right. <laughs> you are not right. Next time we'll figure out what to tell the kids so you don't have to sneak out like this. You want there to be a next time? Don't you? No. I mean, yeah. I just, I didn't freak you out. Dexter, there's nothing you could ever do that would scare me away. <coughs> Mush. <Mostly. No. coughs> BS. <laughs> so she thinks. See, we can't figure out exactly how the killer cut off this head. Can you? No. Nope. Maybe you need a closer look. No, no. keep it away. <laughs> I talked to the medical examiner. He couldn't confirm how your mom died. Said it might have been a heart attack. I killed her. You don't have the balls. I mean, you had to wait till she died to chop her up. And even then, you were too squeamish to cut off her head. You're not the first groupie to take credit for someone else's work. Oh, bullshit. I know details about the case. Things that weren't published in the newspapers. That's because you hacked into our computer system. The DMZ was breached. You read all our police reports. You're a coward and a fake, aren't you? He just attacks a dermis. <laughs> he likes to stuff animals. <laughs> All right, I lied. Okay. Well, I most definitely don't need him back on the street. <laughs> he crazy. Yeah, he crazy. But who was that that they that they dug up? That was behind? his mom. I spent the night face to face. Sean, that's very good. It's all good, Doctor. <laughs> what do you want to focus on today? I'm glad you asked that. Hmm. Uh, uh. No. I'm a serial killer. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you must be letting go, because I've never heard you make a joke before. I'm not joking. I kill people. <laughs> Look at you looking. <laughs> Your big bad wolf has racked up a tidy little death toll. I don't know what you're talking about. Focus on your breathing. Maybe you remember. <laughs> you got quite the god complex. Uh -oh. This session's over. <laughs> Yo, yeah, it's over, all right. That's the same chokehold that he put on his dad. Yeah. See, good practice. Uh oh, we got we got another one. Another one on the chopping block. You're awake. Yeah. Help me make a major self-discovery. The fact that I'm a killer. That just creeps me out. <laughs> Watching him do that. I'm sorry, Doc. Actions have consequences. And mm. This is yours. Oh, his favorite, his favorite tool. Uh, my darling, to the radio. Look, now she's dancing in the mirror and everything. I never knew you were so anal. And I'm a neat freak. <laughs> You're just full of surprises, huh? <laughs> well, you have no idea. I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Okay.
Barbie, be patient. One day we'll share a cold one. in between oh like the writing in the script yeah like what, they're, what they're saying yeah. it was just like little things that he was saying that just kind of just i'm like i don't know why he's saying those words <laughs> and why i'm hearing it the way that i am but for some the way reason that your brain is processing it yeah <laughs> so i don't man so is he gonna kill dad it's, it's already okay so it's but already he, it's already open and shut now we already know so the he took us so what did he get so why did he really need the legs then that see that see that was the other creepy part about it because when they were after they had sex and stuff like that and he was just like he it seemed like he was just so infection infatuated with like her legs yeah her arms like 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 those things like when he did that that's when i was like okay you might want to like put him on, on on high alert yeah just by just like you said by just by the things he's saying and, the, and those mannerisms yeah. and then uh, I think was the defining thing was when she went to his office mm-hmm. and he was like, I have a patient and I want to give her, you know, I want to give her like beautiful nice legs. And legs. I'm just like, that, that's a little far. That's a little, you're going a little far yeah. with that right there. Like and the fact that you called me, all, <clears throat> don't, don't y'all already have those in stock? Okay, why you need me to? <laughs> why exactly that, that? That's what I'm saying because it's just like, Mm-mm. yeah, you're you taking your infatuation to a whole another level because now you want to give a patient my her legs, my like, my des- the way that my legs look, my like my design legs, like you want to use the way that my legs look. I feel like to, that creeps me, babe. If somebody called me and was like, I need to take a cast of your feet, I need a casting of your leg mm-hmm. or your knee. I'm going to be looking at you crazy, especially if I don't need one. Okay? Like, it's just everything that will be going through my head. Like, why yeah. do you need that? Like, why would you ask me for a leg? Even even if you are a doctor that's, in, that's into, like, prosthetic legs and then and I'm dating you and you come, and, and you and then you say that, you know, it, it just it just raised some red flags. And then for the simple fact that, that they, that they kind of uh, debunk Neil as far as being the ice truck killer. And I said that, too. In the last episode, I was like, I don't know about Neil. And then, obviously, um, Lieutenant, she she kind of cracked that and put that together. But yeah. just by taking out the severed head and saw saw how freaked out and how scared he was, a real serial killer wouldn't even have flinched, wouldn't right. even have blinked in the eye of something like that. Wouldn't have even been bothered by it. So, really, he probably... Whatsoever. He, so, really, he just he, he just your local taxidermy, your, your local taxidermist. And he's what what a hacker. So he had he hacked into the firewall and knew a lot more information than, than most people wouldn't know. And got photos about some of those cases and, and everything like else that. that he had, which is why he had all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. which would that would make sense then. And they made but copies they are going to get him for killing his mom though. So it's not like they just going to let him go because yeah. they did find a whole body. Okay, right. in fact, she got a whole body. You, right. You can't just walk away from that. Yeah, but the burning question is, was he the ice truck killer? And he isn't. He's not. We know who the ice truck killer is. It's the surgeon. It's the doctor. It's the 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 man that Debbie is is Messing dating with. now. But before that, yeah. though, did yeah. they have any interaction with each other? Dex, they did, didn't they? Because who? Dex, Dexter Deb- and uh, the doctor. No, they didn't really have any. Not not just dead on. No, I feel like there were like there were like <clears throat> in passing. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh hey, you know, nothing direct, right? Yeah, but but nothing 
where it's just gonna give it like be a dead giveaway, so to speak. Yeah, we, like, like we haven't seen anything where that, where they actually like were like conversing and having a conversation. I feel like there anything. was there it's was some type passing, of interaction with like, them like early on in the first or second episode where they passed each other and said hello to each other, but something like that. I think I, we saw them in the hospital do that. Yeah, but that's but, it though. Because I paid attention, I paid real close attention, uh, especially like when Deb, like that one episode when Deb like saw him and. and and they call eye contact, and yeah. he kind of smiled at her, and I'm just like, okay, there's a surgeon. He's young. Young and vibrant. Yeah. Like, like, like who is he? Oh, my gosh. You know? But, okay. But I, I'm like, I'm like in the show already, because, I mean, just the way that this just twisted and completely turned in one episode. Like, we completely got confirmation who the ice truck killer is, who, who wasn't the ice truck killer, and then, again... Dexter got the opportunity to take out the trash, to take out the garbage. <laughs> he had an opportunity to like feed his craving, his inner, his most inner cravings that he has, and that's and, the, that's and, and, and he chose a good candidate, a real good client. Not him, okay. You know what I mean? What What was his name on Scandal? We're not only a I client; I'm the, the player president. president. <laughs> <laughs> he was the president. Was it Mitch? I feel I can't remember what his name was on Scandal. I watched all of Scandal too, but yeah, he was the president. Yeah, yeah. I just know he was. I'm like, dang, I know it ain't been that long, but yeah, like as soon as I saw, I'm like, that's the president. You mm-hmm. can't wait a minute, okay? Yeah. yeah, you can't get his face. You can't, <laughs> you can't get his face because he, he he's been on on big big time television for sure. Yeah, you know what I mean? the fact that they had him on the show though, like he was on mm-hmm. here long enough. They was like, okay, we just needed you for this one little scene. You got to go. Two okay? episodes. Yeah. Two episodes. Yeah, he, whatever. Yeah he, yeah, he was a victim. So it so it, that was good. That, yeah. I think, I think Dexter chose a good client. But how do, how does Dad candidate. not know like that that freezer was there? Like, she, wasn't she at his house? They were at his house when she was having sex with him. What do you mean? How would she not know that the freezer's not there? Did you see how that fridge was? The freezer when he went back there mm-hmm. it just looked like it was like a big door right in the middle of his living room. Or I don't something. think. Or were they at her? That's house? what I'm saying. I don't think that they might have been. I don't think they were probably at his house. Okay. I feel like they were to, I to be they were an ice truck house. killer and and all of that. I don't think he would bring her to his house that, until he's ready. Yeah, that would be to bring her to the house. Kind of stupid and put her in the freezer. Yeah, so they couldn't have been at his house because because yeah. the way that that looked, it just looked like there was a big ass door right in the middle yeah, of the living room. Yeah, like I'm exactly. like, how could she not have seen that? And, yeah. and clearly, you would know what it was. Right. <laughs> right. Just saying, you know. Right. It's a, it's a walk in freezer. So. Man, this was a bombshell. Yeah. This 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 episode almost felt like a season finale. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the how way that it, the way that it unfolded. So I'm thinking that we're getting a little close, a little closer towards the end of the season. I don't know how many it is. I'm I know it's like right twelve, now. right? I thought it was twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. It is twelve. Okay, so we are getting close. Okay, we are getting close. Oh, so we got nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So four more to go until we get to the end. Ooh. So I'm wondering then if he gonna end up killing Deb, and then that's how Dex is gonna end up finding him, because obviously he's gonna want to find out who killed his sister. Mm-hmm. But you know, I don't know. <laughs> this is just the first season. They can't kill Deb now, okay? Not now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just saying. It, this yeah. probably gonna go but, on for a while. I, but what I do know is that she's she is definitely uh, treading in some very very deep water. And she's definitely like on on the ice truck killers list. Not only that, but how sure. does he know Dexter does what he does too? That's that's another thing that I would be curious to know. Yeah. Yeah. Being that he does everything else that he does, I'm just like, how would he know about what Dexter's doing? Yeah, we gotta keep watching. Just saying. We so. gotta keep watching, watching all this unfold. Okay. But yo, Dang. we are we are in the thick of it. We are definitely in that the thick good. of it. Season number one. Y'all hang in there. Y'all tap in. We it's just it's just heating up. I feel like it's just heating up. Yeah, yeah, y'all. So if y'all For are sure. enjoying it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from AJ and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. I'm ready to see y'all. Take one. it easy. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah. Bye.